One of the great benefits of RSpec is that you can define custom expectation matchers to create really clear tests that make it documented what you want your code to do, as well as um, creating, writing some code to make writing your tests a bit easier. So in RSpec, matchers are things like equals or to be. And in this code base, it's picking up from another example where we're using a helper method called JSON as hash and writing assertions against it. Now, in this expect line, which is what we're going to primarily focus on, you'll notice that we're pull, calling, we're going into a hash and expecting a key to have a certain value. And you can use this expect to equal, and that is totally fine. But something else we could do is define our own expectation. And what if we said expect that hash to have key with value message comma update. I'm going to break this into a sec second line to make it clear. Now, when you read this, you go JSON is hash, and then oh, okay, the message key expected to be updated. But what if we instead wanted to make this more verbose, verbose, or make it more clear what our intent was, which is to say that this hash has a key with the sp specified value. This is one of the great things about our spec is defining a custom matcher. This might be a slightly contrived example, but I actually think it's kind of nice and uh, a good a good showcase of the feature. So we run that test and we see that it says expected this hash to respond to has key with value, but it doesn't. And it throws a question mark at the end because our spec by default has this um, default behavior that says expect true to be not to be nil. <laughs> That's a bad example. Um, it, our spec by default expects there to be this, um, you can do this thing called like def um, happy. <clears throat> and we want to make it, excuse my throat clearing. Um, our spec by default has this thing where you can say expect update to be happy. Right, so be happy automatically calls out to um, the question mark method and has it return true or false. So let's just comment that out. All those tests pass, right? So that's this like default Ruby Boolean question mark um, thing that RSpec has. So that's a very uh, specific dive into RSpec's default behavior as to why that was failing with this question mark of expected it to respond with key has value. But that's that's kind of misleading. The real error is that have key with value doesn't exist. So we need to define it. In our spec helper, we can go in here and define it. I'm going to clear out some comments because this is a, we're picking up from a code base that had this code here that we don't want. So I'll delete it for our sake and for future sake and for the sake of people reading through the source code. Jeez. Okay, getting there. Thank you for being so patient. Um, running again. Okay, we're still running, but we're failing. So we'll define here. Um, we can, down below, you type rspec colon colon matchers has a method called define, and there we pass in the name of the match we want to define. And we're going to call it have key with value. And you pass it through as a symbol. That's a block, and you have expected, which is these options. And expected um, can take multiple arguments. So um, we'll... Uh, We'll figure that out. I might actually have to look that up really quick. Let's uh, see what the docs say. Oh yeah, A, B, C, D. Okay, so we'll say, instead of expected, we'll say key and value because those are what get passed in there. And then we'll say match do, and then actual is the value we're passing in, which would be the hash. So I'm gonna call it hash instead of actual. And we're gonna say um, 
hash dot fetch. I'm going to use fetch because it'll cause the code to, well, I'm going to use, let's not use fetch. Let's just use this for now. We'll pass in the, we'll pass in the hash. We'll access the key and we'll say that that equals the value. And let's run. Okay, it fails because it's plural matchers. Hey, it passes. That's pretty nice, right? That's a really quick little RSpec thing where you can define your matchers. And let's see what happens if we made this fetch. So if we fetch the key, which fetch says if it's, if it's not a defined key, it'll cause an error. So now if we say um, have key with value and we say foo, that's going to fail. And it says key error, key not found foo. I think that's kind of helpful, but let's undo it. And we'll say, let's see what it is like that. Oops, I went back too far in time. Now it says expected message updated to have key with value foo and updated. So yeah, that's actually better that we don't use hat, um, that we don't use fetch. Um, so we could say here, we could say to not have key with value. And now that passes. So you can do the inverse, which is to not have it. So if this expression within the block evaluates to false, then it you can call to not or not to. And uh, that's cool. So passing in multiple values and you know the sky's the limit with how you want to define those and what you want to, that to look like. Uh, so I just want to make that aware 